Hey everybody, I'm here today to answer a simple question about a tape measure. The question is, why does the end of a tape measure move? Just as you can see right there, the end of the tape measure moves. And people want to know why. So I'm going to answer that question for you. Now I'm going to provide you with a simple answer that gets to the root of, of the response. And then I'm going to expand on the answer just to provide you with some more details. So the most simplified version of the answer with regards to why the end of a tape measure moves is to allow the tape measure to consistently provide correct measurements. Okay. So the movement allows the tape measure to consistently consistently and continually provide accurate measurements of things and distances. Now, I'm going to expand on that answer a little bit to give you some more detail. So you'll notice right here that at the end of the tape measure, there's a piece of metal and it moves just like that. Now, the reason that it moves is because it will provide you with consistent measurements and accurate measurements, regardless of whether you are butting the tape measure up against something or hooking it onto something. So imagine that my finger is a piece of wood here. I can butt the tape measure up against a piece of wood to measure something, or I can hook it onto the other side to measure something. That is why the, the end of the tape measure moves. It is to make up for the thickness of this piece of metal right here. So the tape measure expands when it's hooked onto something. Let's say it's like this and you hook it onto something. Okay. Just like that, it expands um, basically the thickness of this piece of metal. That is the expansion of the tape measure when it hooks onto something. So let's say that you are butting it up against something. You're going to measure it, right? And it's going to it's going to measure it based on this piece of metal being included in the measurement. You can see that the piece of metal is included in the measurement. But when you hook it onto something, you can see that the piece of metal is not included in that measurement. That's why this expands. That's why the end moves to make up for the thickness of this piece of metal. When you butt it up against something, the piece of metal is included in that measurement. You can see that it's included in the length. But when you hook it onto something, the piece of metal is now on the outside of the measurement. It is no longer included in the length. So that's why it expands out like that and it moves to make up for the thickness of the piece of metal at the end of the tape measure. And that allows you to have consistent, consistently accurate measurements of distances and objects using a tape measure. So that's the simple answer with a little bit more detail. Um, it's simply to allow you to have consistently accurate measurements when you're using a tape measure due to the actual piece of metal that is at the end of the tape measure. And that's basically it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.